Drone Watch 3 with a unique view of the Limerick Nuclear Power Plant in Montgomery County. For decades, it's been a landmark of sorts. Many people have seen the towers and the steam, but very few have actually been inside the gates. And tonight we have an exclusive behind the scenes look at a place so many of us recognize but may not understand. You probably never knew thousands of gallons of local water poured down the sides of these cooling towers at the Limerick Nuclear Power Plant. We get about 18,000 gallons a minute from the Scugal River or Perky Elm oh, Creek. Really? Okay. And that's make up water for the steam. Rick Libra, site vice president, took us where no cameras have been before. We walked up nine flights of stairs to the raceway of one of the plant's cooling towers. We make electricity for over two million Pennsylvanians and businesses here. Nuclear power begins with the splitting of uranium atoms, a process called fission. Fission creates heat, which is passed to water to produce steam. That steam rotates a turbine, generating electricity in a generator. The steam is condensed and sent right back to the reactor to complete that cycle over again. These cooling towers do just what their name suggests, cool down the steam. Nuclear power is considered a source of clean energy because it does not emit any carbon. It's different from solar or wind in that we have a two year supply of fuel here at Limerick. We operate at constant power over 94% availability all the time. We're always on for that two year period. Pennsylvania's nuclear plants make up about 93% of the state's clean energy, but the plant's operator, Exelon, does not know how much longer its three plants in Pennsylvania, including Limerick, will continue to operate due to high costs and lack of financial support from the government. Their hope is lawmakers at the federal and local level will do more to support nuclear energy. The loss of Limerick or the rest of the Pennsylvania nuclear fleet would be devastating for the local economies. The primary concern with nuclear power is the potential for exposure to radiation. What would you say to someone who's concerned about the radiation here at the plant? Well, our typical workers get less radiation in a year than two dental x-rays that you might get at the dentist. So, I mean, radiation is a byproduct of nuclear energy, but it's very manageable, controlled, and we have safe controls associated with that, both with our workers and the public. Safety was constantly on the mind of our guides as they led us around the plant. Because you're by neighborhood. That's right. We live here, we work here, just like you, and so we're concerned about that. And again, safety of our plant is our number one priority. And in late October, the Pennsylvania General Assembly passed a resolution supporting nuclear energy. That resolution urges a federal commission to ensure nuclear power receives proper compensation and support. Now, the Limerick plant's current operating license runs through 2044 for Unit 1 and 2049 for Unit 2.